We're not winning our one-on-ones. We're not generating threat. We're not clearing pressure easily. And it's not mechanics. Do not think it's mechanics. I think the root of your problem is you shoot too much and you try to be mechanical too much. But you need to understand the benefits of... Hey, what's up, Will? Uh, what rank is this? Champ one. All right. No worries, Will. We'll see. Let's take a peek. Got Will playing some threes. We got champ one. I'm sure it's not that bad, Will. Every player is super critical on themselves. Let me be the critical person. Nice try, dude. I mean, that was a good play. Teammate just took the ball and threw it away. I think mechs are fine. Yeah, that player shouldn't have gone, Will. That's your solo play, man. I mean, you beat the player, you get your one-on-one. -on -one. You have a hundred boost in a one-on-one. -on -one. You did all the frickin' hard work, and then this ding dong just throws the ball away. If you do the hard work and you get and you beat your players and you have a hundred boost, that's your that's your solo play, man. That's your one-on-one. -on -one. Feisty Taquito is having too feisty. Uh, you're playing fine. I'm I'm looking for threat. I feel like we have no threat. We have no threat, meaning we haven't really created offense. We haven't really caused the other team to panic. It's not a mechanics thing. I mean, we could always blame things on mechanics, but I don't really want to go down that route. So I'm still thinking, but... Like, I've, I've said this before. Like, dude, I, I feel like you need to hit the ball hard. I feel like we don't hit the ball hard enough. I feel like we don't boom the ball hard enough. And... I'm going to show two examples of why hitting the ball hard is a good thing. It's like the opposite of mechanics, the opposite of control. Look what this, this player does. Ty Potty, whatever this dude's name is. This player literally just booms it over backboard super hard. No mechanics. And now look how awkward you are. And the awkwardness is literally created from throwing the ball away, but you're hitting it hard. You're making it hard to read. That player just booms it over backboard. Look how awkward. And then we get demoed. Look how awkward we are. And I feel like for you, I mean, if you want the harder route, yeah, you need to get better mechanics. But like there's so much threat and so much opportunity that you could create just by hitting the ball hard. All right. And I know that's like super simple and trivial like oh just hit the ball hard i'm trying to hit the ball hard but it's crazy let me try to communicate a little bit better you're not putting the defense the opponent's defense you are not putting the opponents in a position where they panic and i don't know if it's because we're trying to score too much when we should have just boomed it or if we're trying to control too much like i feel like you just need to boom the ball over backboard Hit the ball super hard, beat players, and I've talked about this on stream before, where your sole focus is to take players out of the game. It's not to control. Like, you want to force players to dive. I want to see us get the opponents stacked on the goal line, where there's a player, a player, and a player, and they're stuck, and they're boost-starved. So, that's where my brain's at, and I feel like a lot of it is just rooted in hitting the ball hard. It's not mechanics because I think there's so much more value and so much more threat that we could generate without even doing mechanics. Like that player just cleared the ball, got the ball out of defense because he hit it past the midfield line in one touch. So I want to try to see what is preventing us from doing this. See, that, that's what I mean. I think you just, you're trying to score too much and you're trying to, to control the ball too much. And I, and I think we need to, to rework our brain 
where your main focus is taking players out of the game. Your main focus is creating pressure, making the opponents panic, and then score off the opponent's mistakes, right? Like main focus, pressure, make them panic, make them dive, make them make a mistake, and then score off their mistake. I feel like you see an opportunity and it's, okay, I'm shooting this. Okay, I'm scoring this. And I think we need to throw shots over backboard. Use the backboard. No one plays backboard defense in Diamond Champion. Steal more corner boost. Demo the goal line. Actually get into an offensive rotation where you push the ball up the field and you have the time to rotate. Every time we move the ball up the field, we have to go right back down. It's not always ball side, but we never get any sort of pressure. And this is, I'm going to keep showing examples, but this, this is what I would focus. Hard touches past the midfield line out of defense to where you clear the ball all the way downfield, even if it gives the ball away. Past the midfield line, a boom, right? We're going to call it a boom. I need you to boom the ball out of defense. Not sidewall, not control, just get the ball out. We get the ball up the field. Corner boost. Demos across the goal line. Shots over backboard. Any area on the field, whether it's defense or offense, your sole focus is taking a player out of the game. So you just want to win your one-on-one. -on -one. That's it. You're winning your one-on-one. -on -one. All right? And if you start winning your one-on-ones and then you're still giving the ball away, we'll build on it. Like, but we need to start winning our one-on-ones. We're not winning our one-on-ones. We're not generating threat. We're not clearing pressure easily. And it's not mechanics. Do not think it's mechanics. I think the root of your problem is you shoot too much and you try to be mechanical too much. But you need to understand the benefits of playing fast, stealing boost, demoing and booming the ball and that needs to be the base of our play style okay you will still have moments to be mechanical but what you could focus on booms hit the ball hard win your one-on-ones if there's a player in front of front of you you're winning it by hitting it around them right if there's a player right here hit it this way hit it this way hit it over their head win your 50 etc and that's like the focus man because that's the easy, that's the easy stuff. Like we need to start doing that. I promise you, we need to start that. That's the base. Try to keep showing examples and you will still have opportunities to control. You will still have opportunities to shoot. Do not get me wrong, but I think we're way too heavy handed with the control and with uh, the shooting, right? Like they just hit the ball hard, made you panic. Made a teammate panic, you panicked because a teammate panicked, and they score off the panic. Like, we're going to score a lot of goals like that. Score off the mistakes. See, we're, we're in a we're control, and then we didn't do anything. And, and, that, and that's why you think your mechanics are breaking down. And yeah, mechanics broke down right there. Or you approach a play. And you hit it here, it bounces, you get the rebound, you shoot. Like, simplify. I think, I think you're focusing way too much on control play. Way too much. And then, like, we, we don't complete our offensive rotation because we're controlling much too much. Like, all this kind of weaves together. It's like, we, we, we can't create pressure, we can't rotate. Like, we don't even have the opportunity to rotate across the goal line, to demo, to steal corner boost. This is leading into boost management issues. This is leading into defensive awkwardness. And it's because we're trying to be too fancy. Trust me on this, okay? Like, we will be fancy. But you, you gotta... Like, we're having a pacing problem. And this team is beating you because they're moving the ball faster. Look at this play. Boom. Boom. There's zero mechanics. There is zero mechanics, and he just beat two of your teammates. You and a teammate. Zero mechanics, and he did so by booming the ball. 
It's not always air dribble. Do this, do that. We're in a control. And that's good. But then our control throws the ball away. And then we get scored on for it. Just trust me, man. Simplification. Boom the ball. Play to beat. Win your one-on-ones. Nothing about control. We need to create pressure. We need to score off mistakes. Champion is filled with people who make mistakes. Okay? We need to cause players to make mistakes. Like, we're not really giving a player a chance to make a mistake because we're trying to control and then we make the mistake and they actually end up playing off our mistake. Good. Boom it. Literally, for me, a boom is, is a hard-hitting touch past the midfield line or over backboard, but I just want you to have a trail behind the ball. That's like the simplification, the simple definition of a boom. When you hit the ball, there's a trail behind it. Just like, I mean, there was almost a trail, but just like that, boom it. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but I just, I want you to know that you could do so much. Beautiful. There, there's so much that you could do in this game without spending tons of hours training mechanics because I know you have a family. I know you have a job. You are not 12 years old playing this game for six hours a day. So, like, there's ways to optimize the way you play without being super mechanical. And this whole play right here, boom. Boom, play to beat. Pass. Cause panic, create pressure. Like, this is what, what we need more of, and you need to recreate this. I promise you, you could recreate this. Play to beat, man. Play to beat. Take players out of the game, just like that. Right? Like, make players dive you. You are solely thinking about your one-on-ones. I mean, I tell this to my collegiate team. We have a match later. A team is only good as the one-on-ones. I mean, in Rocket League, if you're on a threes team or if you play threes and there's someone on the team that cannot win their one-on-ones, the team dies. There, there's only so much carrying that you could do in this game. So, like, focusing on one-on-one -on -one challenges is such, such a good thing. Boom the ball, play fast. Demo, control boost, create pressure, play off their mistakes. I mean, a bunch of different things you could resonate with, Will. It's not bad. Just know that most of your mistakes are almost like self-induced mistakes. You know, you've been submitting replays often. I will work mechanics in, but we need to like get this first. I would say if you want to practice mechanics, practice your mechanics in a two setting, in a one setting, but in threes, stick to this boom and chase play style and... We will work in mechanics, I promise you. I mean, it's tough. That's just a progression I want to work with uh, with uh, Will. Like I said, I will work more mechanics in with Will. I, will, I have worked mechanics and open space control with Will. But um, right now, we need to take a hard shift into that. Pimp Daddy Payne, thank you again for the sub. You have a great day. Hey, Will, do not stress it, brother. Thank you for supporting the stream, supporting our community. I really do appreciate it. I went kind of hard on you, but trust me on that advice. I think it'll blow your freaking mind how playing fast and hitting the ball hard can drastically change your game. And, and it's that simple. Keep me posted, okay? Keep me posted. And please submit next week, please. And have yourself a great day as well.